Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two guys. I am glad you're here. I'm going to be doing a swipe today. I'm doing a series of just black, white, and one other color. Or actually in this case black and pearl. And um, so many people ask me how I mix my paints for my swipes. Well, pretty much the same as I always do. Um, but I'm going to go over it here with you. I don't measure, at least I don't measure anymore. You get to a point where you know your cup sizes, you know the amount of paint that it takes, you know the amount of pouring medium it takes. Water is the tricky part. The water is tricky because every paint takes different amounts of water with one exception for my swipes my golden fluids at least most of the golden fluids even the golden fluid paints the paints that say fluid on them they are actually different consistencies my golden pearl is a little bit heavier than my golden teal but you get to a point where you can sense it you can feel it but for today i'm gonna do a quick little paint mixing video for you and i got my little scale here which i had to dig down and dust off for y'all i got my cups and i got two paints guys i've got a medium body paint this is pbo studio acrylics the blue vert iridescent it's a medium body not a heavy body this is golden fluid acrylics in the teal it is a fluid paint what does that mean it means it's more fluid i use a lot of golden paints because i love them i I know them <laughs> and they know me. Are they more expensive? Of course they are. Do you have to use them? Of course you don't. But I use them because it takes such a little amount of paint compared to some of these tube paints. So I think it kind of all works out in the wash. But that being said, we got our little kitchen scale here. My pouring medium for my swipes is Floetrol and GAC 800, half and half. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put our scale on and I measure in ounces, guys. Let's get to fluid ounces. We are at zero. We're going to put our little cup on there and it is, it's registering as two, but it's usually just 0.1 ounce and I am going to add one part paint in there. What does that mean, one part? It could be one part of anything. You could fill this tiny little two ounce cup up with paint, dump it in there, then fill it up with your pouring medium, dump it in there. You could do the same with this little shot, plastic shot glass size. So one part is one part, but we're gonna measure. We're going to put one ounce, of the golden fluid acrylics in the teal. That's if we have an ounce. <laughs> well, we are close, guys. We're at one ounce, not including the 0.1 ounce for the cup. Now, in this cup right here, I have my golden GAC 800. If you don't have GAC, you can use another pouring medium, Liquitex pouring medium, Amsterdam pouring medium. You can use Floetrol, Floetrol and water. I use my GAC for a lot of reasons. People ask me what those reasons are. Go to the golden website, Google GAC 800. They'll tell you all about it, but it helps with cracking and crazing. It leaves a nice shine. It's archival. There are a lot of different reasons why I use that. this. So we're at one ounce, and I'm going to add one ounce of GAC. There you go. 
In this little container right here, I have my strained Floetrol. And every time I use my Floetrol, I stir it. Floetrol tends to separate a little bit. I give it a good shake or a good stir every time I use it. We're going to go ahead and put, what happened? We're going to put an ounce of Floetrol in here. And there you go. So we're one part paint, one part Golden GAC 800, one part Floetrol. Now Golden Acrylics can handle even more pouring medium because their pigment is so strong. And then we stir, and we stir, and we stir. And then we check our consistency. For my swipes, I like my paints thin. It leaves very little trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint below. Also, see how easy breezy these guys are to mix. They're wonderful. Let's take a look at that consistency. I don't need to add any water to this golden fluid paints. Now, let's put this scale back to zero. I don't know how to use this darn thing. We're back at zero. We're gonna add another cup, 0.2 ounces. There you go, 0.1 ounces is what the cup measures. And I'm going to add one part of a medium body paint to this cup. A little bit more. My scales acting a little weird, guys. There we go. We have one ounce of a medium body paint. I'm going to add one ounce of my GAC 800 or one part. There you go. And I'm going to add one ounce or one part of my Floetrol. And there you have it. We're at three ounces. Now we're going to stir this baby up. Now, this is a medium body paint. Its pigment as well is not quite as strong as my golden fluids, but this PBO paint can handle the amount of pouring medium that I put into it. It takes a little bit more stirring. And there you go. We are mixed up, but I want you to look at the consistency of this paint. Let me get this scale out of the way because this is where consistency really plays a big part for me and my swipes. This paint, because it's a medium body paint, is too heavy for my swipes. Let's compare it to the golden fluid paint. See how this runs off and leaves very little trace when the paint hits the paint below. It's almost like water. It's almost like milk. It's not like water. It's like milk. That's the perfect consistency for my swipes. Let's take a look at this consistency. Do you see how it's leaving a subtle mound? Kind of like, oh, hair conditioner when you pour it into your hand. This paint is too thick for my swipes. So this is where we bring in our water. For my medium body paints, most fluid golden paints do not need any water.
for my swipes. And we start with just a tiny squirt at a time. Add it in there. Stir left, stir right, stir back, <laughs> and stir forward. We do a lot of stirring. Let's chase, check that consistency. It's still leaving a bit of a creamy mound. Now this would be perfect for me for a ring pour um, or a traveling ring pour, but we're doing a swipe today. So another squirt of water. A lot of people use pipettes and they just put their pipette in a, um, in a cup of water and squeeze in a little bit at a time. Lots of stirring. Let's take a look at that consistency. I need just a little bit more water. And I can't tell you how much water. I mean, I can put this back on the scale and see how much water we put into this paint. But every paint's density is different. So this tube paint might take a little less water than another tube paint. It will take less water than a heavier body paint. So the water trick, guys, is something I, you have to learn. You have to learn. And how do you learn? By checking your consistencies several times. Let's take a look at that. We are there. So we added two little squirts of water to this paint, the medium body Arteza paint, to get it to the same consistency as our fluid paints. Actually, it needs another tiny little squirt, guys. And this is what I do for about an hour before I paint. I mix and I mix, and a lot of times if you leave your paints um, alone for a while before you paint and you come back to them, they can set up a little bit, and you might need to add a little bit more water to them. So guys, I hope that helps you. Another, another point um, that I think is important, when you check your consistencies, and I learned this from Sweet Tara, um, you don't hold your popsicle stick way the heck up here because gravity takes hold and makes it stream down. You hold your popsicle stick and you hover it right over your cup. What I do is I just lay my popsicle stick on the edge of the cup so that they're always the same height. And there you have it. I hope that helps, guys. Um, consistency is everything. It's, it's the issue that I had the hardest time with when I was um, learning different techniques. You just got to play, um, and you need to find your own way and what works best for you. This is what works best for me with my swipes, guys. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let me clean this area up here and we're going to come back. We're going to talk about our colors and what we're doing today, guys. I hope that helped. Hi, guys. I'm back and I apologize for this glare. It'll be gone in just a minute. Our base coat is down. Our base coat is Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics. It's mixed one part paint one part Golden Gak 800, one part Floetrol, and just a little bit of water. That is not a very heavy bodied paint. One thing I did forget to mention a few minutes ago is my base coat for my swipes is the same consistency as my swipe colors. Guys, let's talk about these swipe colors real fast so we can get out of this glare. In this cup right here, we have Deco Art Metallics, and this is the pewter mixed with one part paint, one part Golden Gak 800, one part Floetrol, and a little more water than my fluid paints because this is a medium, a little bit more than a medium body paint. So it took three or four squirts of water to get it to the consistency 
as my other paints. There you go. I am standing on my tippy toes right now, guys. I am a short woman. This right here is more of the Artist Loft Soft Body Paint, which took a little bit of water as well. Right here we have golden iridescent silver in the fine one part paint, one part liquid. Excuse me, one part paint, one part golden gack 800, one part Floetrol, no water needed. In this yummy cup we have golden fluids in the iridescent pearl, one of my favorite paints, guys. I just love the shimmer that this gives, which you cannot see. Now, we also have a secret ingredient because I am still testing this pouring medium. In this tiny little cup, guys, we have golden iridescent pearl in the fine Oh my goodness, how do I get rid of this glare? But it is mixed with a different pouring medium. It is mixed with the Amsterdam pouring medium, which you see right here. We have one part paint, four parts of the Amsterdam pouring medium. This stuff is crazy. At least it's done crazy things for me. Those of you who like a lot of cell action, that is your ticket, guys. So we're going to be doing some swiping. We're swiping with some damp paper towels. I just stack about five or six of them. I take my water squeeze bottle, squeeze around the bottom edge of it, flip them over, squeeze the other side with some water, and leave them stacked right next to me. Guys, let's get painting. This glare is even bugging the heck out of me. <laughs> Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. Misty eyes You are my happy end Don't know why I've been playing it coy, pretending at your heart's expense. Misty eyes, you are home to Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics. This is a 12 by 12 gallery wrap canvas. And we're going to swipe. We're going to swipe with the pearl mixed with 50% Floetrol and 50% Golden Gack 800. As well as this little cup, which is one part golden 
fluid iridescent pearl and four parts of the artist loft excuse me the amsterdam pouring medium just to see what happens guys i love a black and white so we're going to do this in real time how should we do it this is the pearl mixed with just the Floetrol and the GAC. And this is the pearl mixed with the Amsterdam. And you can see that that is actually a little bit thicker. That's a good point. Whenever I put my base coat down and I put my first stream of base coat, if it pours out in a ripple, I know it's a little bit too thick for my liking. It should pour out like this pearl paint um, poured out. That's hard to say, pearl paint poured out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give this a swipe. Let's do it in sections, guys. I'm going to cut this paper towel in half. Put a little bit more of the pearl with the Amsterdam. You can see that it sunk a little bit, but that's okay. We'll start here in the middle. Now I'm gonna lay it right inside the pearl, but the back of the paper towel is gonna be a little bit in the black. So we hopefully get some nice legs. There's our legs. Slow and easy. Can you see the oil, guys? That is definitely an oil. And I'm not saying that that is a bad thing. But what I am saying is if you're going to finish this piece or um, put a coat of varnish or resin on it, I highly recommend you treat it like you treat silicone oil that you add to your paints. I don't use silicone oil um, for that reason. I don't want to do all the cleanup and long term, I just don't think an oil is good for your paints. But that's me. Lay that in there gently and I always support the side that's hanging off the canvas, guys. See that? I've only used silicone twice and it looked just like what's happening here. But it is kind of cool. I always cut my paper towel a little bit longer when I'm going off the edge. Slow and steady drag, guys. That's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do just for comparison, this is the pearl paint mixed just with the Floetrol and the GAC 800 No Amsterdam Pouring Medium. And we'll go ahead and swipe the top of this painting. Got a little bit wonky there. Grab just a little bit of the black. Big difference there, guys. But a nice contrast, I think. Now, what I also did last week is I mixed, see, this is my jam right here. <laughs> this, is, this is too out of control for me. 
but um, last week I mixed the Amsterdam pouring medium with one part Amsterdam, one part GAC 800, and one part Floetrol and mixed, used that as my pouring medium with my paints and it was a lot less explosive. So you have lots of options, guys. Sorry, I can't talk when I swipe because I I often hold my breath. Now that is definitely kind of cool, guys. Let's go ahead and tilt it to check our paint levels, make sure we don't have too much paint, we don't see much movement going on. Got a little bit of moving in, movement in that center line, but not enough to be concerned about. Let's give this fella a little torch. Well, there you have it guys Amsterdam pouring medium if you are looking for big bubbly cells this is your ticket now remember my paints are very very thin and I think that that contributes to a lot of the cells that you see here um, the upper section of this painting was done with my usual pouring medium and I'm digging on that let's go in for a close-up guys Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, please. Let me know what your jam is. And we are going to continue for a couple of days doing my black and white series. Glad you're here, guys. Have a great evening. Rick's calling. I got soup on the stove and it's dinner time. I'm a hungry girl. Stay happy. Stay well. Bye for now. Wash away.